Well, I, I, I realized that over the last two weeks, we have not ha really had a chance to uh, explore those questions and things and some of the practicalities of what we have been studying. So I thought we should just, we should just take a break and do that and actually talk about some of the practical applications of what we have learned. Uh, for example, this morning, somebody was, uh, Jenna was, I think, oh, it was, who was asking, or was it yesterday, or what it means to quench the spirit, and what, what does, what, how does that, how, how does that, what does that look like? So, um, I, well, I know we're going to be talking about some of that in the next, that we're supposed to talk about some of those things today, but I want us to look at some of the practicalities of the things we have learned over the past uh, and see whether there's any, if we, want, if we have any questions on them. So, uh, this ministry of the Holy Spirit and all that. So, does anybody, who wants to kick us off? Anybody who got a question they want, they have? Jenna apparently wants to, she wants to do the honors and kick off. Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Pastor. So last week we discussed about the we discussed about um, the fact that there are some gifts that are for um, a select few in the church, and then there are some gifts of the spirit that are for everyone. Mm. So how? When do those gifts come? So my question is like, is it when a church is set up and then we have the pastor as pastor O that the gift of pastoring comes on you? Or is it that this gift is recognized in people and then they are now selected to be the leaders of the church? I don't know if you get my question. I do. I do. I do. Um, it's it's quite in <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> it's interesting it's 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 a bit of both it's a bit of both um if you look at uh, let's go to acts chapter five or six is it five or six let me see the when the dickens were selected uh, let me see if that would be acts um, six, act six. Um, let, let, let's let's read and you'll see what it what it says. And it says it act six from verse one. And in, in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied. There arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the same pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch, whom they set before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. So um, you, you, you notice that the people that, the, that were chosen were people who were in church already, who were of good report, and who were, so the, the, the grace, the gifts were already upon him. And the Bible, when it talks about, when you go to Timothy and uh, he asks uh, when they are trying to appoint pastors. He talks about people who are of of good report and who are who have who have grace upon them. So I think it's a bit of both that 
people are usually chosen because they have they have distinguished themselves already in church by service or in activities they are the various activities uh, in which the, the the church is involved okay um, house fellowships uh, the distribution of food and all all the things that they they, they did that the, the the people were already of good report but so, sometimes the church is, is started and then people are identified within the church um, so it's 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 a combination of both but the the one thing that is uh, um, that the one thread that runs through is that Paul warns people not to lay hands suddenly on any man. Um, so even when the church starts, you don't just pick somebody because one, he's very charismatic or he's, he seems to be a good teacher or, or he seems to have the gifts or, or whatever. You don't just pick them. You, you have to, you, you, you have to wait and, and prove the person because a person can be extremely charismatic, which I think is, uh, we've seen it a lot in, in contemporary church where somebody can be very, very charismatic, a phenomenal teacher, but very poor character. It can be, it can be a phenomenal evangelist or have a strong prophetic gift and be full of pride or something, you know? So you have to make sure that um, their, their character is, is uh, strong enough to sustain the anointing and that the anointing, <laughs> you know, will, will, will not be placed on, on, on somebody who, or the calling will not be placed on somebody who, who will go and disgrace the church because they don't have uh, the character or they, have not, they are not yet in the place where they can represent Christ publicly. So um, does anybody have anything else I want to add? Anybody want to add to that, please? Please feel free. Pastor Victor, your thoughts? I, I don't think there's anything to add really, Pastor. I think you've put it in, in a nutshell. Um, and I think for me, what, one of the most important aspects of what you said is that, you know, people shouldn't rush to lay hands because the truth is, um, over a period of time, someone's character will show anyway. Um, but sometimes I think um, in a zeal to have work done and move work forward, that, that's what um, probably make, make people rush to a point. But again, as you said, when, when, when the work starts, people will begin to identify the gifts from the way people operate. So yeah, there's really nothing additional I have, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have anything they want to add? Because in some churches that I've been to, um, I find that they just anointed, you know, people as leaders. Um, but I don't think that they've really been through this process of identifying their gifts because, you know, that scripture says, and um, some were giving first apostles, the apostles, <laughs> then, then um, prophets, teachers, evan and evangelists. I'm not really sure that, you know, I knew what I was, you know, when I was appointed in, in some of those churches. So is it just their own error or is that also okay? Um, sometimes it is. Sometimes the, the, the man of God can identify your gift even before you do. 
you find that even at at work in your workplace sometimes mm -hmm. your bosses can they can see your graces and gifts when you can see it because they have a lot of experience working with people and working in the industry so they know what is needed and they know who has it uh, some people their gift is the capacity to actually identify people's gifts very quickly and there's, there's a danger that such there's some of those people they 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 um they um you're squinting yes, my eyes. What do you want? Do you need something? I, 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 I've been trying to. Uh... Sorry, guys, my, my eyes uh, it's irritates. It's uh, really uh, irritated. So uh, that's why I'm squinting so much. I've been trying to stabilize it, but it's, it's just, it's like it's got uh, sand in it or something. Um, so um, the the danger is that some people they can identify the gifts very quickly. So th that's again that's a gift because it's a leadership gift. It's a gift. It's a it's so either an apostolic or, or a pastoral gift, uh, or you know, when, or, or even a prophetic gift. They can identify people's gifts. Now the only problem is that sometimes the people who can identify the gifts are immature themselves. So they want to use those gifts for, or depending also on their agenda, they want to use it to build their own ministry or themselves, you know? Um, so sometimes both the, the appointer and the appointed are immature. <laughs> Sometimes the appointer is mature, the appointed are immature. Sometimes the appointer is immature and the appointed are mature. Is it so? It, there's there's a lot of uh, there's there's uh, that uh, challenge. So, uh, but the, the 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 like you said, sometimes you 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 did not you you you're not able to identify your gift. But what what a lot of what what happened in the past uh, was that people the work needed to be done so people just quickly appointed whoever one whoever was available available yes uh, uh, and then or um, if there was enough politics whoever was close enough to them that they could trust. So it didn't matter whether they could do the work or not. As long as I can trust you, you are not going to stab me in the back. So okay. if you're my blood brother or my uh, neighbor that we, are, we've, we grew up together and we have lived together for 30 years, then you are less likely to stab me than somebody who just comes from somewhere. So, so there was all that. There was all, <laughs> there was all kinds of things. Going on. So the interesting thing is because it's, it's, the church is a reflection of society. So we 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 tend to the, the the same mistakes we make in society we make in church. Well, we're not supposed to. That's why Paul Paul actually and the scriptures tell us what to do. Um, what, what to do in the. Um, in, the, in appointing to make sure that so and you notice that when those appointments were made hastily uh, most times it, it worked out mostly but there would always be the odd one or two people that manifested seriously <laughs> uh, but that's not to suggest that even if you appoint maturely that those things won't, but they, there were too many of those kind of issues because people were appointed too hasty. Uh, we laid hands on people suddenly. So that, that, that accounts for some of the challenges that we had. Um, Thank you, Pastor. But like I said, even with proper appointments, with due diligence and all that, you still find that Jesus, with all the due diligence, still had a Judas in his midst. 
Um, so, and whether we like it or not, every we, we actually sometimes need some of those people to help us grow. We we need them in our midst. I find that some of the some of the people that actually helped my Christian growth the most were not the good people; they were the difficult people. They were the ones who helped my patience to grow. They were the ones who helped my capacity to work with all kinds of people to grow. They were the ones who helped, you know. So it wasn't necessarily always only the good people. It was also the difficult people. Pastor, good evening, sir. Good evening, uh, Tunjak. I have, I have a following of question. Um, yes. Said, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. So what should our response be? So we 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 all well know, like, um, following on the, on this question about pastors and teachers and prophets and uh, their and their appointments. So we know of instances where <clears throat> in churches where people have been appointed to positions of pastors or prophets and everything simply because maybe one of their affluence or their wealth. Um, sometimes because of popularity, their fame. So <clears throat> I give. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I'll give you a couple of instances. In one scenario, someone who had been a popular um, um, artist as a non believer, had fame and all that, becomes born again, and then within like six months after we get born again, joining the church, they made a minister or a pastor or something, because, and that's simply because they were very popular and now they're singing gospel songs. Other cases where people are very, very affluent, you know, loaded up. Let's say Bill Gates, Bill Gates becomes a Christian tomorrow and starts attending the church. And of course, you know, quickly, within three months, he he's appointed to, um, you know, pastor, deacon, whatever, you know. What, what, should, what, what should, and I'm not saying that it's all cases that it's, it's wrong. Sometimes it might be that God wants, to be, you know, they can become born again today and become pastors tomorrow. But really, in, in, in a lot of the cases, and you, you realize that these, these things are not necessarily in line with what the Bible commands, especially when Paul writes to Timothy and says, um, don't appoint a novice, you know. Yeah. And, and, so what should the, the believer's response be in such cases? Is there a place for um, challenging? But that challenge I'm not saying cause disruptions or be rude or anything. What should I, or should we just keep quiet and just look the other way and not say anything? What should, what should the believer's response be really in those I, instances where... Yes, thank you. Thank you, Tunji. I think um, you are very correct. But the, the interesting thing, let, 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 me, let me give some balance to it. What, what your response should be as a Christian is prayer. Um, you, are, you, are not, you are not in church to, to pastor the pastor. You are, you are in church to, to help. Mm -hmm. So... That's why you, Paul says, pray for us, because the, 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 the tail doesn't wag the dog. It's the dog that wags the tail. The, the, you know, God gives headship. He understands that sometimes the person that he puts there may not be all that, but he still puts him there, you know. Mm. So uh, I think prayer is very important. But I, also, I, I, believe, in, I, I believe that leaders should be wise enough to have a proper accountability body around them. Mm. I think leaders should have a proper board, a proper, they should, they should have a proper reporting system where they have, they report to, a, a, like here, they will report to trustees, they trust, we have, the trustees hold us accountable, then we have a leadership team where we hold ourselves mutually accountable now that that's only because we are we are, we are mature and because that's my own style. Some most people it, it doesn't work like that. It works differently. But and of, obviously in Nigeria, for example, the most times the 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 head of ministry is the be all and end all. We expect that he hears from God and then everybody else just. But it is it is unwise. It and it is actually not biblical for one person to have. Um, um, yeah, it, it is unwise for um, one person to have 
uh, that kind of power, absolute power. Mm. It, it is very unwise. And it is also unhealthy and it is exceedingly dangerous for the person and for the church. It's very dangerous. Mm. So, so for example, you see, we, with us now, we, we, I, I report to the trust, trust board and I'm a part of that trust board. So there's an accountability structure there. But in our leadership team, there's also accountability. So I'm, I'm unlikely to do something if everybody is against it unless I, I, I expressly had God and I would actually still try to sell it rather than push it. Mm. You see, so um, having said that, you know, it, 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 is not the, it is not the church's place. It is not the people, it's not the church's place to, to decide what the church should be doing it. The, it you see, you notice that God would speak to the leadership of the church and then the leadership of the church would tell the people that this is what the Lord is saying. So it's not, it's not like, it's not a democracy. It's a, it's a theocracy. Mm. So, uh, but with accountability. So that's why you had the priests, you had the, this, you had the king. Then, and the, the, when a king tried to go into the office of the priests, he was, he was usually censured, you know? And when a priest, you know, when he tried to... So to take the office of the prophet, what there was, there was so. Um, so, but that's but Paul. Paul actually gives us the key. He says we should pray, 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 pray for your leaders. Pray for me. He would say, pray for me, because he was. Uh, and then you notice that there were certain things. When um, I heard from God, I didn't take counsel with anybody, and I just I went straight into. Uh, so and so place by the Holy Ghost. You see, he because he knew that he had heard from God, and even though people were trying to stop him or advising against him mm -hmm. going, he, he was very categorical that look, God has spoken to me, and and the disciples, for example, when they were trying to be stopped, they said, "You judge whether it is true. It is, it is, it is right for us to to obey man or to obey the Holy Spirit, to obey God." Mm. So, um, but the, 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 the thing is that we, we have a responsibility as leaders to, be, to, to ensure that we are guided by the word. That we don't um, do anything without recourse to the word of god we don't get that we get our instructions guidance from the word you see mm -hmm. and when we're doing it when you get your guidance from the word even if you miss here or you fail you know god doesn't judge you harshly when you, you your mistake is because you misinterpreted the word of god rather than that you disobeyed the word of god or you didn't know the word of god mm -hmm. so you get that so he's much more, he will be much more willing to, 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 to guide you right mm. when you are, you are erring on the side of this is what I hear the word of God. This mm. is what I think the word of God is saying. Yeah. And he, you know, so when you make a decision based on what your understanding of the word of God, then God, God, you are in a better position because God can now come and correct you mm. as opposed to when you, 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 you put aside the word of God and you go your own way, then you open yourself to judgment. Mm. So I don't know if that, yes, I don't know if, uh, Justin, before you ask, Tundi, I don't know whether that answers the question. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that helps, Pastor, yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, somebody was going to ask. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I greet you the explanation you, 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 you postulated to us and everything. But I don't think, I mean, that's me anyway, but I don't think there's an issue in regards to you challenging. It's not from a negative perspective because a challenge, I think, I think we tend to look at it, maybe it's, it's negative. No, I think it's a case of you asking. So if, if, if you've asked a question, though it's not um, democrat, uh, democratic like you mentioned, I don't think there's a, that should, I think there should be a place of a dialogue as well. So they've done no, something as no, a leader. I, I, Definitely. No, no, not from the accountability. Not, not with the leaders. 
not with the leaders. Okay. So, no, no not you from the leaders' perspective. Can ask. You can actually ask. You, you yeah. see, your, your heart is right. You see, that's another thing. If your heart is right and you ask, you, you, will, you can actually even change policy if your heart is right and you ask properly. Let, 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 let me give you a story in the scriptures. You remember a man called Zelophehad? Anybody remember Zelophehad? Mm -hmm. what, what was peculiar about Zelophehad? Uh, I don't know. Who um, he had, did he want to have five daughters? Yes, he only had daughters. He didn't have yeah, daughters. And he was asking mm -hmm. for he about died, his yeah. Yeah. He died without yeah. any sons. And the daughters who were now in, in, in they said, look, they went to uh, Moses and, and, and they, didn't, they didn't go uh, in arrogance or pride or confrontation. They went in humility. They said, our father died. He didn't have sons. They now, didn't, also, they didn't go as feminists. They didn't go as feminists, no. And they, they didn't go as, <laughs> no, it's true. It's true because, and they didn't go also as arrogant masculinists or mm -hmm. uh, misogynists or anything. Going, oh, this is how things are culture. This are you know, no. They went with humility. They said our father died. If you listen to how they presented their case, our father died. Didn't have any sons. That is it. it, it, it is it fair that we, being daughters, have no inheritance? So. They didn't say, how come we, don't, we must have inheritance? So Moses had to go and pray. Moses went back and asked the Lord. He said, Lord, what? and the Lord said, the daughters of Zelophehad are right. Mm. Wow. Mm. God said that. He said, the daughters of Zelophehad are right. And because, so that was, thank you very much. That's, that's, that's very, that's, that's, a, that, I, 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 that's, it's a good, um, question that that brings clear uh, some balance but, yes, so balance. They, they, they 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 the whole law was actually changed because the daughters of Zelophe had went in humility to ask they challenged the the situation but not not in the challenging way of why are you not giving us this thing they said not to disrupt consider it consider it because we don't get anything and we're, 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 we're part of the commonwealth. Mm. So uh, when, when Moses went, now it's interesting because if they hadn't challenged it, the women wouldn't have had anything. But that became, it, the law was actually now uh, adjusted or expanded where the, uh, it's like where a subsection was now added to it that mm. should anybody die without having sons, his inheritance would go to his brother. If he didn't have any brothers, would go to his uncles and all. And if he didn't have it, would go to his daughter, his daughters. So the, the subsection was actually introduced because some, some group of people in humility asked the question. So yes, a, a lot of times it's when the heart is not right or when we're, think, when we're thinking we know better or we're trying to manipulate the leader. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to manipulate the leader, that's, that's when... Uh, if God will fight against you because he put the leader there. So you can't manipulate the leader. And also, you see, when, when authority turns on you, you have to be very careful. When authority turns on you, because God backs authority. Remind me to teach on this. I will teach on this um, Particularly using the situation of the 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 uh, Ananias, uh, Azariah, and uh, and Ananias, Azariah, and Mishael. The ones you know as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, um, so so they, there was so that <laughs> with that right attitude, they were able to. You are able. So you can. You can. Yes, you can. I, I won't use the word challenge. You can, you, you can, I wouldn't also use the word question, but you can, you can actually ask authority to explain certain things, why certain um, things, or you can suggest uh, better ways of doing things to authority, but you, you must be ready for, uh, the, you know, um, one of the things, Authority is not obliged to always give you an answer. Sometimes they, 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 they can operate 
and say we, we did it because we felt it was the right thing to do at that point. You notice that even with government, for example, now Boris Johnson and, and his team, they are democratically elected and they, they, would normally, they would normally bring matters to uh, House of Parliament and debate it and everything. But there are certain things which they, they, they can't, they, 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 there's, there's urgency, exigency, there's this, and they can't debate it. They have to make a judgment call and then come and tell you that we made a judgment call, we, we did this and all that. So um, that, and that's how it is with, that's how it is with. So sometimes I, 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 I used to tell my children when they were growing up, Sometimes they ask me why I do something like that, and sometimes I will explain. At other times, I tell them, because I'm telling you to do it, you do it. That's that's why why you do it. You must you you must have that kind of relationship with your children where you are letting them know that there are times when I will explain to you why I'm doing certain things. Why when we will debate matters and we will have a democratically elected uh, choice of holiday destination, but there are other times when we will decide certain things and we will let you know and. You cannot. You 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 you. We may not need to give you an explanation. Sometimes that's very difficult for most people to accept. Like, ah, uh -uh. hey, who do you think you are? The appointed of the Lord. That's who you are. Huh? Are these difficult things? Hello? Not really. Um, here. Not We're really. Here. Not really. But I think it's like, like it's just to have the good balance. That's all. That's, yes. That's it. Yeah. yeah. You, you see, you have to be also very careful about your leaders. If you are in a place where you can't question your pastor, nobody can question him, and he's not accountable to anybody, ah, <laughs> I think you need, to, you need to run quickly. Quickly. Um, it, 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 I, I know a lot of women too, they, they meet guys who try to cut them off from everybody and everything. And then when they are, I, I normally ask, where does this guy go to church? Who is his pastor? Who is he accountable to? There are some people, some young men that are accountable to nobody but themselves. They're not even accountable to God. So you have to be very careful with such people. Similarly, you have to be very careful with such pastors. A pastor or, or a leader, any leader here, we can, we, you know, we can, we can ask our prime minister, we can ask anybody why they are doing that. If a policeman starts, you can actually ask him why and tell him I need to let, let, let you know, you, you can ask you, without being rude. Of your, you, you, are, you have to be careful that you are not in a place where, or that you, are, you don't yoke yourself to somebody who, who is not accountable to anybody. Yes. Okay. Shall we? Yes. Next one. Next question. Does it? Is, 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 are, we, are we happy with that? Or does any? By the way, it's open forum. So if you have anything you want to add, please feel free to add. Don't. It's not. A, I, do, I don't have the monopoly of answers. I, I just guide and suggest. Um, Pastor, I have a question. Yes. Um, I was um, talking to my daughter and we were talking about prayer and stuff and it just got me thinking. Um, I know we pray obviously to God through Jesus, um, but I also, I was trying to explain the part of the Holy Spirit and how we don't essentially pray to him. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I'm not sure, like, doctrine-wise, how that sits, but I see a whole wave of, um, how do I say this? I see a whole wave of this kind of talk of, you know, being so in love with the Holy Spirit. And I'm just thinking, I mean, how is it in a place of prayer? Do we properly, um, I know it's going to look different for everyone, but I'm just trying to position that and trying to understand in place of prayer how do we address or um communicate without the holy spirit being the like the end all or be all forget jesus and god you know um i hope i'm making sense with the question yeah well interestingly um yeah you know i, I there are just some things that we say that are 
a tradition, you know. Mm -hmm. You hear people pray, say, Holy Spirit will worship you. Um, mm -hmm. And he, he, if you look at the scripture, the Bible says that he does not testify of himself. Mm -hmm. He does not, you know, he testifies of Jesus and the Father. So it, it doesn't. So mm -hmm. if he doesn't testify of himself, then mm -hmm. why would you want to now be doing what he doesn't do? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you can you can talk to him because he's a person. Yeah. So you don't ignore him. You don't you don't yeah. ignore him. You can talk to him. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can you can acknowledge him. Mm -hmm. You can call on him to help you. Mm -hmm. You know, and all that because you then you can you can ask him to do what the Bible says he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guide us into all truth. Teach us all things. Holy Spirit, teach us all things. Show mm. us things. Uh, guide mm -hmm. us, you know. Remind us of mm -hmm. things we have learned, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but there's nowhere in the scriptures where you actually see. And I look, mm -hmm. I, I, I like to, I look in the New Testament, I look at the yeah. way you see somebody say, Holy Spirit, we worship you. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. There's no there's nowhere in the scriptures where it says, Holy Spirit, we worship you. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you I, I, I try to keep away from there's a there, there are a lot of things we do that mm -hmm. are tradition okay. uh, and some of them Pentecostal traditions that have no they have no basis in the scriptures. So I, I try to keep away from those things. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I I, I I I try to I just try to stay as much as um within the ambit of my understanding of scripture so you, 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 you when if you read the book of Acts, you see how the holy spirit is yeah. is, is present he's is there is acknowledged mm -hmm. he, mm -hmm. he, you know he's um invited he's 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 given preeminence and all mm -hmm. that but you, you don't see him, even though he's he's equally God, you don't see him being worshipped. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You see? Yeah. So I, I, I just tend to, I tend to stay within the ambit of my understanding of the law, of, of the word mm -hmm. of God. I try mm -hmm. to, and I try to, that's, and I try to encourage people to do that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Pastor, I, I, I do agree with what you said, but I, I struggle with the fact that um, one can't worship the Holy Spirit. And the reason is, um, <clears throat> because the Holy Spirit is, God is one, right? God is yeah. one and God cannot be split or divided. So what is applicable to one, one part is applicable to the three. Um, mm -hmm. God is that which can be worshiped. One of the, one of the um, important things about God or who God is, is that he receives worship. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit is God. Um, and whilst I understand that, the Bible says explicitly that, that he testifies. Um, but the testifier, the testifier of Jesus Christ and of, of the Father, in, in that expression of God um, as the Holy Spirit, I, I agree with that. But I don't necessarily think that it means that he can't be worshipped. Because if he cannot be worshipped, but we shouldn't worship him, it means that he's not God. So that's where I struggle. Um, and what, what is applicable to one is applicable to, if God is worthy of worship, if God receives worship and the Holy Spirit is God, I don't see how we cannot worship him, even if he's not. Yeah. Um, you, otherwise, you, to say not to worship him would be that that you can worship God him. in that sense, yeah. You can worship him in the context of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But I think when, when you single him out, I, I, that's, that's, that, I, I just, that's just my... my I think because of the, for example, if you say, if you say in the name of Jehovah, in the name of Abba Father, I, 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 I command this thing to happen, mm -hmm. it may, may not necessarily happen, not because Jehovah is not God and he doesn't mm -hmm. have ultimate authority. Mm -hmm. But because he has, he has given the, given the authority to the yeah, son, to Jesus, yeah. he has put it in the name. Not, now, the father, it, it, the, 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 
the godship of the father is not diminished mm -hmm. that he has delegated the authority to his son and said mm -hmm. at the mention of he said and if you notice when jesus was talking about the holy spirit he said you can blaspheme the father you'll be forgiven mm -hmm. blaspheme the son now mm. that's not because the father is any less god mm. mm -hmm. yeah. or the son is any less god yep but yep. he said when you blaspheme the holy spirit it won't be forgiven in this one now why does he do that because the holy spirit is in a vulnerable position mm. he's placed in a vulnerable position you see when a person sins the father can turn his back on the person because god is of pure eyes he can turn his back on the person he can say I'm not watching this. And then Jesus starts to intercede. Do you, mm. do you know what I mean? He can, he, he mm. can turn it. Mm. But the Holy Spirit is, is empowered in a sense. I, 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 I'm loath to use the word forced, but it's compelled mm. to stay in you mm. even when you are sinning mm. because he is the agency that brings repentance. Mm. Mm. So that's why the father and the son have to protect him mm -hmm. with the, the, a different kind of protection than they have because they, uh, they can protect themselves in the sense that they can walk away. Mm -hmm. He can't walk away. So that's why he says, be careful you don't grieve him. Be careful you don't quench mm -hmm. him. Be careful you don't, because you know, he can't he, he can go. He, and he is, the, he is the only source of repentance so if you grieve him and remove him then yes yeah. <laughs> you go now that doesn't it doesn't diminish his godship it just it, it just said that there's a an office that is given to him mm. that is different so similarly to jesus you know there's an office when he when he was walking the earth he was still god but mm. he laid down his godship yep yep so um so that, that's why I think it has. So I, I, just from my understanding, it has. I think it has to do with the office that mm. each person is given. So it does. It doesn't diminish his god godhood. But if God mm. is now saying, um, "You pray to the Father in the name of Jesus by the power mm. of the Holy," yeah. Mm. And I suppose know. to 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 agree with you, sir, Pastor, as, as, as yeah. especially we agree with the Holy Spirit, is I think another thing is that. Because he's the he's the one that like you like you had mentioned and alluded to, like he's the one that, that convicts, but he also is yeah. the one that executes that is the executor of the finished work. Really. So if you yeah. grieve him and you 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 um, blaspheme him, there's yeah. nobody else left to actually be left. Nobody the way we do that here. Mm. The the very source of your life you have rejected. Mm. So mm. God talks about God giving to reprobacy because there's nothing left, you know. <laughs> and the Romans talks about it. It says, "When he, he, if you have tasted of the good pleasure, or the good, the good gift of God, and all that, and then you now still reject all that is left is a fearful waiting, waiting for judgment. You know, because you have rejected the only person that brings you to the Father. Mm. So that, that's why I, I, I feel that His was. It, it, it's not you're not not you're not worshiping not because He is not God." Mm. But because the father tells you that his ministry is not to testify of himself, mm. but to testify of the, the finished work. So, so for example, when we when we celebrate the finished work, we're not diminishing God; we're actually glorifying God. When we testify of the finished work, we're actually, in a sense, worshiping the Holy Spirit because we're giving Him. The we're giving him room because he is telling us that Jesus is Lord. Mm. Mm. So we are worshiping him. So when when I say yes, Jesus is Lord, I have given the Holy Spirit free. I've given him worship because I've obeyed him mm. because that's his ministry to say Jesus is Lord. Mm. You know. So, um, but to turn to to mm. him to say. Holy Spirit, I worship you. Or uh, I think it takes it, it. It we 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 deviate from the formula that God, the spiritual formula that mm. God has given to us. Mm. That's that's how I see it. I, do, I I may be wrong. I may be wrong. But that that's that's my 
that's my understanding. Mm. Mm. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank mm. you. This this is this is for me, this is very exciting stuff because this is this is this is Christianity practicalized. Mm. Because these are the things, these are the questions we have in our hearts that we, we don't, you can't really find a ready, a, a, you can't find an answer just by reading uh, Luke chapter one, you know? Mm. You have to discern, you have to be able to discern. But, mm. but uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it still gives me, there's still, as you said, it, it's, um, I've been feeling as well that I'm not sure if I'm meant to be acknowledging him, praying to him, you know, um, and definitely, so, yeah, yeah, go. definitely record and listening to him, yeah, def giving him, um, I, I, when, when I, when I hear those songs where it says, Holy Spirit, we worship you, I, I just say, Holy Spirit, I give you preeminence. That's, I, 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 I change some of the words of those, some of those songs. If I'm not comfortable with the words, I just change it. I say, I give you preeminence. I, 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 when, and when people are saying, Holy Spirit, we welcome you, because he, I, I know he's resident inside of me, I don't really welcome him. I say, I, I acknowledge you and I give you right of access. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I ask you to take control, you know? So rather than um, welcoming him, because to welcome means he departed, he went somewhere. And he didn't go anywhere. He's, he's, he said he won't leave you or forsake you. He's inside of you. He lives in you. So he doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's just that sometimes we forget that he's there. Sometimes we ignore him. We quench him. We, mm -hmm. we uh, uh, silence him. We grieve him. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, Pastor, but, don't mention any more songs before I can't listen to any of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I, I actually think it's... I, the other day, I, I, you know, Mommy and I were talking and we, we, I had to... We have to uh, you see, you have to be careful that you don't become pedantic mm. where, you know, you have a problem with that. But at the same time, you know what, what we were reading yesterday? Was it yesterday morning or this morning? Well, we talk. Uh, I think it was this morning when when we were reading Thessalonians. Thessalonians. Don't despise. We about yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah judge every you church. Yeah. You have to judge everything. Do mm. you know certain things we do that and they are not biblical. They are not. They are not scriptural. Mm. Mm. But because everybody does it, mm. Mm. we've come to just. So I I, I check everything now. I, I don't I don't just sing it because we've always sung it. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't just say it because we've always said it. I, I check everything. You have to because you are accountable for what you accept and what you say. And just because everybody else is saying it does and, and if it's not in, in line with God's word, that, that you know, you say, but everybody, even the biggest men of God are saying it. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't mm. matter. Peter was saying some things that Paul had to take it. Peter, apostle, that sat with you. Paul had to call him to order. Mm. Every, mm. Everybody was, the Bible says everybody was, was taking it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Even was Barnabas, wasn't it? Was, Barnabas. That was, yes. mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. was, even Barnabas was taken in, you know? Mm. And these are the, these are the men of God. Mm. Mm. If they were here today, they would be, I mean, who, who think about it? Who after Peter? Who, mm. who again? Peter. Mm. Uh -uh, Peter, the one that Jesus said, "You are Peter, mm. and look, I will build my church." Mm. And by the way, God, Jesus was talking about Peter being the rock, as the Catholic Church tells us that Peter is the rock upon which the church is built. Oh, if Peter is the rock upon which the church is built, the one that denied Jesus three times. <laughs> uh, that's a very shaky foundation to build the church on. <laughs> no, it's not, it's, it, you know, it, 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 but even Peter was, was so. It, now, obviously, if Peter said it, Barabbas would have thought, ah, Peter, if Peter is saying he must be right. But mm. Paul made us realize that 
the fact that Peter said it doesn't make me right. Mm. It doesn't align with God's word. I, so I took him up on it. Mm. Yes. Quick okay. question. Quick question on that. Yes. So, again, going back, and it links to what we were talking about earlier. So going yeah. back to this thing. So these days you hear, um, and, and I've heard a number of pastors, um, um, a lot of them that I respect as well, and I still listen to and I still respect, and they are anointed men of God. But I've heard this thing about, um, almost like a, there's a hierarchy of who can correct who. So yeah. a, um, That's not my anointed. Like a, um, if I'm the GO of this church, for instance, yeah. Um, and even if, if I'm taking wrong, it's seen as a taboo for a lower pastor to call me to order or for yeah. a member to call a pastor to order. Or yeah. not, you know, they will say, if, you, if correction is to come, you have to go above them to correct them. So in that case, what audacity did Paul have? Because this is where, you, um, and, I, and, I, and I understand the place of spiritual authority and respect and everything. But, and it goes back to what my question earlier about where, yeah. what's, the, what's the role of the believer? You know, no, but, and I, agree, I, I agree that we should pray and all that stuff. But is there any, yeah. place, at, any place at all where we say, look, the word of God takes preeminence and I can stand on that word? And, because that's what Paul did. Otherwise, Paul no, 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 in a no. sense had no right to call Peter to come. Right? No, no. You, know, you have to understand that Paul was an apostle himself. He was appointed by Jesus an apostle himself. Mm. So he had the apostolic authority, the same apostolic authority that Peter had. That's why I could call Peter to order. Yeah, Pastor, I, I agree. It, now that we're reading it in hindsight, we know that. Yeah. In the day, you know, Peter could have been saying, look, because Paul wasn't there when Peter and the others were working with yeah. Christ. Yeah. And even yeah. Paul himself said in Galatians that these yeah. guys were the, who seemed to be the pillars of the church. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. even though we read it now, we know that Paul was an apostle, he was appointed in their day. It probably mm. wasn't that, you know, Peter was Peter, he was there yeah, before. But, <laughs> so how would he have worked in, in that time? The, thing, the reason why he could stand and do that was because he, was, he knew that he was called. So it would have been more difficult for somebody else who didn't have that kind of apostolic authority to stand and correct Peter. It would have been very difficult. But I think what Paul taught that was important mm. was that you know, one, you pray for your leaders. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. And then two, did you notice that when issues came up, uh, the, the issues were actually taken to the council. You know, there was a council mm -hmm. of... Yep, 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 yep. And James, it, uh, surprisingly, Peter wasn't the head of the, the council. Yeah, yeah. It was James. James was the head of the church. Or, of mm -hmm. the, he was the head of the council. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so again, notice that there was an accountability structure. So mm -hmm. Peter didn't say, because I was with Jesus and I was one of the top three. And now that uh, J uh, Peter is, uh, John is in Patmos and uh, James is dead, that makes me number one, really. Mm. He didn't say that. No, 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 no. Mm. When questions were asked, they would bring it to the council in Jerusalem. They would, they would, when the churches had problems in the out stations, they would send it and then the church would sit and meet. It, was, it wasn't a question. Of, and it would meet and people, some people would say this and some would say that, you know. Mm, mm, and yep, yep. the church would, not, then the, the leadership of the church would sit and debate and then the, the head would now make a ruling. Mm, mm -hmm, yeah. So God didn't, uh, the, the, uh, he, he, he followed rigidly the authority structure. He was very, yeah. he, he didn't, he didn't si subvert authority. Mm -hmm. So yes, we can, we can actually call our leaders to, to order. We can, we can call them, again, please bear in mind, the way you do it, humility, yeah, yeah, yeah. respect for authority, that you never undermine authority mm. while you're trying to, correct authority. You don't undermine it. So that's very, very important. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes too, yes, you are right. You, you, for example, I can't go to parliament and go and speak to MPs. Mm -hmm. I don't have that authority. I don't have that kind of authority. I can't just, but if I see something and I go to say, Hugh, my, my pastor, mm -hmm. and I say, Hugh, I, I'm, I'm uncomfortable and he agrees with me, 
he can he can go to parliament mm, mm, because he has the authority. Yeah, yeah. because he has the authority mm. i don't so sometimes you know um we, we, we you know and then sometimes god takes like look at that blind man who was able to stand in parliament and and because God gave him, God gave him his sight. So God yeah, gave him yeah. some authority. Mm -hmm. So he was able to speak to authority in a because God elevated him by reason of the circumstances. Mm -hmm. So he could speak truth. He could correct the people and say, ah, how can you say it's a sinner? That is not an interesting thing. Yes, yes, yes. You know? So he could correct. So sometimes God will give you as a layman, the he will give you the microphone. He will give you the, mm -hmm. uh, the the um platform hmm. for a specific re season for a spe and reason specific season yes but at other times you see when jesus was was being tried yeah. peter didn't have the authority to go in because he didn't know anybody there so he had to go to somebody who knew somebody and then they now said let him in one of us do, do you understand peter peter couldn't just walk into the palace even though he had spiritual authority, isn't it amazing? He, he had the kind of authority with God that most men only dream about. But he couldn't go into Pilate's uh, 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 palace. Mm -hmm. But one of the disciples who, 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 had, who had access uh, 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 brought him in. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the, that's the important thing for us to. Um, Pastor, as, a, as an aside, something that you just said as we were talking just yes. now, someone struck me uh, as to the humility of yes. uh, those early apostles. Because you talked about, um, when you're talking about the Council of Nicaea, how that James was the, was the head. And James, yeah. this is James, the brother of Jesus, right? He wasn't even a believer at the point of Jesus' death. And yet he would become a believer later and become the head of. Yeah, I'm thinking about that, that that's that must be huge because they, they could have been ah, you when did you just come that you want to be the head and all of something. Exactly. That shows huge unity on their part. Yeah. Yes, and it just shows how God God we don't we never we never really know how God works things. Mm, mm. Why was it James that was it wasn't James, it wasn't chosen because it was Jesus' brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, somehow, you know, God just he, he his, his ways are past finding out. Mm, mm. Which nobody really knows how, how he picks who. Is going to be where you know. Mm. Okay, well, it's 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 past it's it's nine it's past nine. We I think we've had a very very fruitful session because we 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 uh, this this is these are things that we need to be tackling aware of yes and be aware of and they, these are questions we all need to ask. You need to be asking it because your children are going to ask you, unbelievers, the people around you are going to be asking you some of these questions and you've been asking some of these questions too. So we need to tackle them um, and all that. So we may, we, we will continue um, next week. Uh, all right. Okay. So um, let's give our offerings as we normally do. Uh, remember, be, 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 be generous, be, be, you know, give, give, happily without compulsion and um, yes okay that, that that's it that's it for for the week thank you pastor thank you pastor thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you now like, I, I, you say our ah, pastor we didn't share the grace it's okay it's all right <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Hey, <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> we, uh, we don't, don't have to be religious. It's okay. <laughs> the grace is already with you. It's with you. God, God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. God bless. God bless. Thank you. 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 Thank you.